Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in with the Empress. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. We would love to have you here. Go ahead and click that bell to subscribe. If you are returning, welcome back, my loves. All the ones who have booked a personal reading with me, thank y'all so much for booking. I'm having a lot of fun doing these personal readings for y'all, as well as who everyone who has checked out the website. I also have a, a new website, guys, where I sell lashes. All of that information is going to be in the comment section below, okay? So let's see what's going on with the karmic and the masculine. I haven't done this read in a minute. So let's see. I'm going to do a masculine and a karmic tale. Let's see what's going on. And how does the masculine feel about the karmic? Oh, we got a jumper. All right. Ready to talk? It's two of them. My karmic likes to start arguments over you all the damn time. I'm starting to believe she's obsessed with you. <laughs> Don't worry if you don't hear from me right away. I'm not trying to ignore you. She's just around me. So this masculine feels real smothered by this Cormie. He can't get a break from her. Can't get away from her. Uh, and all she does is talk about you. She watches everything that you do, everything that you post, everything that you... Like, she's on you more than he is, okay? I know you're upset with me staying with her, but it's only temporary. Mm. <laughs> that man's gonna say this this temporary okay but the thing about it is is i'm still on this part where this karmic talks about you all the time like she got your name in her mouth more than he do that's crazy to me all right let's see what else we can find out let's see Show me how this masculine feels about this karmic. How does the masculine feel about this karmic? He wants to close this chapter and take a new direction. I feel like he's numbing himself. Maybe he's drinking a lot, self-medicating himself a lot. Because he got himself in a commitment that he really didn't understand. He devoted himself to this connection um, and blocked the real connection out, out of pride and ego. I feel like he may have felt like Divine Feminine got too big for him. But I feel like um, he is watching. He's watching Divine Feminine. Okay. He wants to close this chapter and go take a different route. He was ready to go, go find something new. He wants to put this connection on pause because he wants to go back towards his soulmate. Okay, because we got pause and soulmate right here. I feel like only thing that he can offer this karmic is dark night of the damn soul. Some damn devil energy. Some damn toxic ass energy. That's all he got to offer this karmic or that's all this karmic has to offer. No. That offer is like... Really, honestly, and truthfully, Dark Knight of the Soul and offer it's like this masculine accepted, um, made a deal with the devil. He sold his soul. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Offer and Dark Knight of the Soul. Come on now. That definitely, look at how this looks. It literally looks like he sold his soul to the devil. He sold himself short. Show me how else this masculine feels about this karmic. Y'all like the video. This is going to help the channel grow. How does this masculine feel? He feels overwhelmed. They argue a lot. Okay, they argue way, way, way too much. Ten of Wands, he's ready to let this go. Okay, he's ready to drop this situation. But I feel like he's afraid because he may have financial issues. I feel like this karmic is the breadwinner. She could be helping him financially in a lot of different ways. So he feels like, you know, he want to let this go. But now he's thinking about his finances. I feel like... Yeah, I feel like he 
for him, he feels like if he makes this final decision to break up with the karmic and just leave, I mean, I feel like that's what he's thinking about. He's thinking about just completely just um, making this final decision with this judgment, going ahead and calling a judgment and calling it quits and breaking up and just leaving the situation behind. Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords. But he's not confident enough to do it. He's not confident enough right now to make to take that leap of faith. He's not confident enough to take that leap of faith, even though this is how he's feeling. He's not confident enough at this moment in time to take that leap of faith. He's getting tired of being in this connection. And I feel like he's already started sneaking off or he's taking, stealing from the karmic. We got the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. This could definitely be like someone stealing money. Um, or has started cheating. Or he's seriously considering it. But here's the world again. Right here with conclusion again. I feel like he is... I feel like this masculine feels like there's no rush right now. Okay, I'm seeing like does doesn't want to rush because he's looking at his he's looking at his pinnacles with that nine of pinnacles right there. He's looking at his pinnacles, so he don't want to move too fast, and he's feeling like okay, man, I need to think about this. But I feel like he is overthinking a lot, doing a lot of overthinking, can't sleep at night. Having a lot of anxiety dealing with the situation. I feel like he feels trapped in this connection. But see, that's the deal that he took. That's the deal that he took. He took an offer from this karmic and that's what it came with. It came with that dark energy. He sold his soul for a little bit of change. And he's stuck. All right, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. If you're interested in booking a personal or reaching out to um, book a personal or checking out the website, all the information is in the comment section, guys. Damn, that reading. Y'all let me know what's going on. I need to hear about this. Y'all let me know. Ciao for now.